So today we are going to be building or rebuilding the hero section and I will show you why because I found something that I can we can make better. So I took a snippet that we had before and I kind of made it work for this hero section and I think it's adding a little bit more charm to the hero section or to our landing page than the previous one. The other hero section I have converted to a to a section on the page after the hero section so it's still there okay that effect is still there so this is kind of a stacking effect and i think it's really amazing because right away off the bat as you scroll the page you get an idea of what the website is about so or the landing page is about which is the most important thing right otherwise what's the point of having such a landing page and as usual all the codes and everything also from previous parts will be in the description below everything will be linked so you if you need references you can reference back so let's get into it all right so i'm gonna go in the back end of my elementor hosting first of all because i want to go to a performance because i want to go to security and if you know how to do this great you can do this with a plugin but in elementor hosting you have the option to limit traffic by country and here it says allow all okay so let's see what we can do allow all countries okay block selected countries so i'm gonna go to block a few countries no shade i'm just going whatever country okay i love all countries so do not take it personally we have andorra croatia and cyprus blocked okay so these countries will not have access to our website i think this is a great feature especially if you don't want like, totally you don't want traffic from countries that you just don't want the traffic for whatever reason your reason is valid okay so let's go to site management and if you want to transfer the website let's say that you are working on this website for a client you can go and start the transfer okay and you can see here where do you want to transfer your site to myself or to a client so if you go to client you can input their their email here they will receive a notification and then they will be able to go through the steps to get the site on their name all right so to myself for example if you want to transfer it to yourself go to continue and this is where you have the transfer wizard taking you through the steps on how to do it okay so this is also an option i'm showing you what's possible because maybe you're curious right and you don't want to get into elementor hosting before you have some facts about it so i think these are very boring facts but facts that at some point will become important uh, depending on what you want to do and set up your website to do in the back end you can also delete the content if you want and that it means that you will start over with a fresh site and the default settings all right so you can also delete the website that but the data will completely be gone as it says there and you will uh, just have a new website slot for another website if you want to build something else on this subscription all right so yeah that's fantastic so you can also go to logs to see all the logs that you have uh, received here for example access logs this feature is currently in uh, beta so we will see what comes of that but as you can see i have received some error logs here so you can download this information clear it refresh it whatever uh, maybe forward it to your IT department if you have one or someone who is knowledgeable in on that and you can, you know, try to understand what has happened. As I said, these are just the boring facts that are sometimes so important and we do not find information online about this because everyone is going for the shiny facts about a product so let's get into today's effect. Let's get going, okay? So this used to be the hero section i will leave a link in the description below for the video where i was building this there was an additional body text here but i removed it before filming this video so let's get into adding the the first part of the hero section okay i don't want to keep you too long and i don't want to make this longer than it's necessary okay so let's get right into it so first of all let's add a container so i'm gonna go here so i'm gonna add a container drag the container in here 
I'm gonna set this to be full width as always, you know that. That's the practice here. I'm gonna set it to be 100 VH. All right, oops, 100 VH. And we are going to be adding our text in here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this and I'm just gonna change the content of it. So paste, the content is going to be uh, this. All right, nothing too groundbreaking, uh, but it's to the point, okay? So the moment you land on the page, on the, yeah, on the page, you know what this is about, all right? So I'm gonna set this to be an H1, obviously. I already set this to be an H2, so we don't have two H2, H1s on the page, all right? So as you can see, if I hover over it, it already has some overflow. We're gonna fix this, but what I wanna do is go and add two classes on the hero section that we have just created. So go to advanced, go to CSS classes and drop these two classes, hero and pinned. Okay, there are two separate classes and these classes will be added in the uh, code. All right. So if you want to change this, you have to go through the code and change it. I will not recommend it because if you miss one, it's not going to work. Just saying as a precaution. All right. So that is pretty much it. Okay. For the hero section, let's say. One thing I want to do is just set this uh, text to be in the middle of the container. Just justify the content content in the middle. Okay. Let's set the the size of this heading to be custom seventy. All right. And the line itself. Uh, let me publish. And I think we are are good here. All right. We have the classes set. Everything is fine. All right. So I'm gonna add another container. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this one. Duplicate. Yes. And we already have a heading in here. So I'm gonna have to add another container. Yeah. We're gonna have two containers in this one. I know it's a little bit, it sounds like it's a lot, but it's not. You will see what I mean. So here we are going to add a different content. Yeah, so this is what we want to have. And uh, let's go to style. Let's go to C. Yes, this is absolutely okay. And I'm going to change the, the width to be 40% uh, 40, 40 custom width. All right. So let's go back to the container. Now I want to set this container to have a width, a full width, a width of full width. Yes. And I am going to set the row direction horizontal and align, uh, justify the content end. Because in here, I want to add another container. So let me just duplicate another heading. So I'm going to duplicate this one. All right. I'm going to add different text content, whatever you call it. And voila. All right. Oops. Actually, it's this one that I want to change. And if you noticed, there's something else that we need to change, but give me a moment to style it first. So this is going to be inter and it's going to be 300 weight. And as well, it's going to be a point, 1.3 in size and <laughs> lots of ends. Uh, line height 1 EM as well as oops let's just go back to, to transform normal all right all right so let's go to advanced and i'm gonna set this custom with 220 and we are looking pretty good so far right i want to set everything i want to set the justification of the content to basically none gonna leave it like this for now but if i go in the parent container yeah i want the direction to be column vertical and we're gonna add another container in here let's close this one okay we don't need it anymore we have to focus on the parent container so we're gonna add three containers in here where we're gonna have three other additional containers with images. I know it's a lot, but this is what is required, all right, for this effect to work. So let's just add the container. So we, what we can do is basically create one and then duplicate it and just replace the images. So I'm going to set this to be full width. The height is going to be 100 VH. So let's go to advanced and I'm going to add two classes here. One is card and one is paint. Make sure that you add them because they are in the code. Otherwise, 
they're not going to work the effect is not going to work okay and inside here we are going to be adding another uh, container and uh, let's go to grab it all right so i am going to go and add already a class on this and it's going to be img all right and i am simply going to drop in here an img widget yes and let's go and bring in some uh, images that i have saved So go to the section and add the CSS class right here. All right. So now we can add our code. All right. First of all, I want to add the CSS. So go to the first container, the hero section container, go to advanced and go all the way to custom CSS. Okay. And drop this code. And then we have to go to... Let me just close it because there's so many things open. Let's go to this section, this container, okay? And we need to add um, some CSS here as well. And this CSS will kind of give our images a different view, okay? So I'm going to drop it and voila. You see, they're all, Im all images are the same size now. Okay, I'm going to publish that. And now... Um, I already have my uh, GSEP in here, yeah? So this is the part that we have in. So this is it here, all right? I will have this as a separate snippet if you want it. As a separate snippet, just make sure that you add this as a hero section and only as a hero section. Otherwise, it doesn't work in another way, yeah? At least the way I did it. So now we could have a look. I'm not sure i finished all but let's just have a look yes i want to do something with this all right so let's make sure that we have everything set properly okay so if you go to the heading this needs to be an h1 okay and let's go to the container itself let's go to layout advanced additional options and set the overflow hidden yeah and the section html tag and the html tag as section okay then let's go to the uh, other container that we have created and let's go over this additional options as well we have the overflow hidden as well and you might see that i have done something here and i was just playing a little bit uh, off camera here i think it's going to be an interesting effect so if you go to the container where we have these two headings and go to advanced go all the way to motion effects and turn on the scrolling effects to on and i have transparency and blur edited here so uh, set to fade out the transparency to 10 and 50 percent to zero viewpoint or zero percent to 50 percent and then the blur fade out to seven and 53 well you can set it to 50 whatever just whatever you want and zero percent and that's about it Let's just go a little bit to layout again. No, I want to go to the heading here because uh, we copy paste it and I want to make sure that it's not an H1 because otherwise it's not going to work properly. The effect adds it's an H2, all right? And then our other heading is set to a P, okay? So I set it to a P instead of H1. Again, we remember we duplicate it and all that. And let's go again to the parent container. Let's see if we have any classes here. We don't have a class. We don't have a class on this one either. Let me just close it. But we have classes on the containers that hold image container. Okay. So if you go to the advanced, you go see that we have card pinned to classes. Okay. And we have three of the same containers and they all have the same class. Okay. If we go to the additional options here, the additional options uh html uh, tag for each of these are sections yeah or section and then if you go to the child container of this you go to additional options there's nothing else all right if you go to image the image is styled it's set to 100 max width and height 100 percent and cover as object fit and we don't have any classes here, but we have a class on the container that is holding our image, which is an, uh, an IMG. 
Okay, class. All right, so if we go to the parent container and we go all the way to advanced custom CSS, you see that we have set here some CSS as well as in the uh, parent con in the container on the hero section, hero pin. Okay, so uh, we also have a little bit of CSS here. I'm gonna publish. I cleaned it up a little bit, yeah, because it was just too much uh, unneeded information. And we can go to preview. Hopefully this works. Okay, let's see. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can even make the images even bigger than this. Yeah. Also, let me just go a little bit. I added something else on the heading. Yeah, it's some more CSS. This CSS is transition zero seconds. All right. So I think that's about it. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. Yeah, we have this effect as well. Pretty cool. We can actually remove this or move it up here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, maybe even here. We're going to do that at some point. <laughs> Not now. And then, voila, let's see what we have so far. I think it's pretty okay. We're going to add some more animation here. Yeah, some, uh, maybe it's going to be like a text reveal of, you know, uh, we'll see what we come up with. And yeah, I think it's coming along. I think this is going to be very nice. And we're going to make it better as we go along. I just want to make sure that we are setting our sections and everything is working uh, pretty well in you know, in tandem together, basically, because we have quite a lot of code. If I go to the um, to the code here, you see, you, you see, we already have so much code, so, so much code. Yeah. For just a few effects, actually, every section except for one uh, has GSAP on. And I have to make sure that everything is working as well as possible together you know but yeah so that concludes number four <laughs> and i think we are coming close maybe we're not gonna have eight parts because that's too much i was thinking that we're gonna have much more but probably not i think maybe another two parts and most likely we are done with this series and then this template will be downloadable it's going to be mobile optimized of course not all the effects will work on mobile because not everything should work on mobile uh, when it comes to gsap some things need to be just on desktop otherwise you are going to mess up the user experience on mobile and of course that's not what you want right all right so until next time i hope you enjoy this and I will leave it in the description below the snippet that I used for this specific effect. But keep in mind that this only works on the hero section. But this needs to be the first element on your page. Otherwise, it's not going to work. It has not been optimized for other sections on the um, website. This is a drawback of these effects. You need to work them on specific sections otherwise they're not going to work or if you have or know someone who knows gsap or coding to help you to implement them on other sections on the website all right that's it for now i will see you in the next one if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time